Hi guys, um, I'm just gonna show you what I've did with my uh, Coifin account. So uh, this is the homepage of uh, Coifin, today's markets, but what's really uh, really useful is really the, the dashboard feature. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is talking about your, your universe. What I mean by universe is What's the uh, the stocks that that you want to trade, and what what are the stocks really available to you through your brokerage account? So when I when I asked myself that, I I decided to try to put all the stocks I can trade on my Coifin dashboards. So I have a lot of dashboards now, and it is my universe. So for example, I decided to categorize them by countries so my broker is basically based in Europe so it's a CFD account but if you have an, a US broker you may have uh, just US stocks but the much more um, availability with US stocks like penny stocks and stuff like that me my broker offer really a low like a, not a lot of stocks within each country so it was pretty easy to populate my dashboards if your broker is better and you have more access you may have uh, thousands and thousands of stocks and it's going to be harder for you to put in uh, manually in, Co in coifin but what you can do is you can ask your broker if he can provide you with an Excel sheet with the list of tickers, and then you can just upload that on Coifin. It's pretty easy. Now, if we look at one of the dashboards, for example, France, um, the way I set it up is I've basically entered the tickers. Uh, and the way you do that is you basically go to new dashboard. Now, you see, I also put uh, ticker codes for each dashboard. So, so if you see there, Germany, it's uh, GER. If I click on the key in the keyboard, the question mark key brings the search bar. And if I click that again, I can type GER and I go directly to my Germany dashboard, which is pretty neat. And the way I set that up is I have a table first with all the stocks and um, I have put in all the multiples I wanted so for example the valuation EV to EBITDA PE um, stuff like analyst ratings the volatility over one month the short interest now it's not populated here because uh, there's less data for European stocks but if I go to for example US industrial which is an Another one of my dashboards. There were more stocks available for the US, so I actually broken my dashboards for the US within each uh, super sector. So now I have all the stocks, industrial stocks in the US, with all the data. Uh, now, volatility doesn't load, I don't know why, but um, you can pretty much get a good sense of what's really popular in the sector. So if you just look at the performance over one year or six months or whatever, and also the multiples and the valuation, and it's really helpful to, you know, very quickly look at the, the actual quality of each stocks and the metrics like, um, yeah, short interest, gross profit margin, CapEx, the cash from operations, the revenue year on year or quarter on quarter. It's amazing. And then I can, I, I like to do long short ideas so I can very quickly um, come up with uh, long short ideas within the same country, within the same industry or sector, or uh, spread out between two countries within the same industry amazing tool um, the other thing I want to show you is the averages so for example the machinery at the bottom I have the average 
of the industry <clears throat> right here which is incredible because then I can know, I know what's the industry average and that's just computated based on the stocks I've inputted but still it gives me a very good idea of what's the industry average of the gross profit margin and then if you look at a stock so let's say the industry average is three three percent. This stock, for example, at fifty three, you know, it's above average. And I look really at all the the data points. You know, I don't favor one multiple over the other because it's you know the stock market is a pretty dynamic place. So having a look at all the multiples, where is the stock with the average of the industry and with its peers, and then I can you know make the best choice, like instead of buying Tesla or Bitcoin, I prefer to look at, you know, the stuff that nobody talks about and, you know, it's still moving in the background very steadily, like really, really smooth curves and going long and, and short and making decent, making decent returns. So the way you do that is you put in all your tickers and then you will template that thing. So for example, I call this template Dean stocks, which is basically the columns. So if I go to my columns, I've put in all these columns, which I renamed, like for example, they had really long names like these ones. I've shortened them so that it's, it's easier for me to look at. And then I save that template. So now whenever I create a new dashboard, I can just click templates and load like this. Yes, load. Um, and then the other really cool thing is you can group these. So if I go to group, you can see that now they're grouped by industry. I didn't have to manually check where to put each company. I just clicked group and they've grouped them automatically by industry. So that's pretty cool. And what else did I want to show you? Yeah, the summary is the averages. You can do lots of different stuff. I've just done the averages, but you have more options there that are probably very useful for other uses. And you can obviously sort, for example, here, if I right click, I can sort descending, sort descending, etc, etc. And then what I also done is for each dashboard, I have a normalized performance. So what I can do is I can click on replace. And if I'm looking at a long and short, for example, I can just go boom and have a look at it. looking at the, the relative performance of uh, one stock um, with the other. And the other thing I can do is I can search, for example, doing uh, FB uh, TSLA, and I'll be looking at the performance graph of Facebook versus Tesla. Now, I'm not going to go and trade uh, Tesla, but as you can see, it would be good to, based on this chart, to go long Tesla and short Facebook. Boom. Very, very useful. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, guys, I'm... I'm publishing my my research on long short stocks so if you're interested you can uh, check the description and I'll be publishing more tutorials in the future that's it guys um, thanks for watching uh, and subscribe if you like the content and like the video thank you